Hello and welcome back to your own channel Indian Defense Analysis where we bring to you all the latest development happening in the defense sector. The exoskeletons are wearable device supporting the human to generate the physical power required for manual task. It is going to be next sophisticated gadget for the armed forces across the globe transforming a soldier into a super soldier. It will improve the muscle activity, discomfort and endurance time in forward bending work which is much needed in high altitude warfare. With the Sino India and Indo Pakistan border issue which is likely to be guarded more intensely any support to make the lives of soldiers safer and conducive shall go a long way in their motivation and operational efficiency. The personal safety and comfort too forms a crucial part in maintaining high standards of the armed forces. An easy maneuver in tough terrains gives soldiers strategic advantage. These all can be achieved with exoskeleton technology. China is also working on a military grade exoskeleton. The operational advantages claimed by the use of this few kilogram exoskeleton are 20 kg of assisted strength, relief from more than 50% of load burden, which thereby reduces the risk of injury to the troops. Now DEBIL, that is Defense Bioengineering and Electromedical Laboratory, which is DRDO's nodal lab, is doing research and development on these exoskeleton quite extensively. It is using in-house expertise in disciplines of biomedical or biomechanics, actuators and control system to build this technology. In June 2021, DRDO has showcased the first model of its exoskeleton. Now as per recent reports, Savya Robotics, a company based in Hyderabad in association with two DRDO's lab, which is R&DE, Research and Development Establishment Pune, and Dibble, has developed India's first quadruped robot and wearable exoskeleton as technology demonstrators. Both are of dual use and have multiple use cases in both industry, healthcare, as well as in military. At present, such robots are being imported by India from US and Switzerland. They are made for structured environments with limited capabilities and not suited for deployment in difficult to maneuver terrains and field operational conditions in which Indian Armed Forces operates. The quadruped robot is a four-legged robot which can walk or even run on uneven and rough terrains. For example, in Leh, where soldiers have to navigate through unfavorable conditions, these robots can be used. They are also useful in recognizing terrorist activities and other unsafe location and capturing the visuals which can be monitored from any part of the country. The robot can carry 25 kilograms as a payload and walk along with the soldier. And these robots can also be used in nuclear plants and other industries. The exoskeleton which is developed by Savya is to suit Indian soldiers requirement and augment their strength for both walking long distances without fatigue and to lift heavy loads without expending too much of effort. Many times soldiers are required to carry a payload of 25 kg and walk up to 20 km at a stretch. Now this has impact on their health in long run. The active exoskeletons developed by Savya when worn by soldier can carry much heavy loads without expending too much of effort. Even if they are carrying 25 kilograms of load, soldiers feel as if they are carrying 6 or 7 kilograms of payload, thus they are not fatigued easily. The firm is confident to launch its robots and exoskeleton in next two years in the market. Now, another private firm called the Time Tooth Technologies Private Limited has also been awarded the exoskeleton project of DRDO as a part of TDF program. This was today's update. Please let us know your views on this in comment section. If you like the video, do not forget to like, share and subscribe. With this, I would like to say goodbye and Jai Hind. We'll soon back with more interesting and amazing development happening in the defense sector.